Welcome to part 7. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look on how to prepare our SAS file for a production ready website. Since the beginning of this series of tutorial, we never actually care too much about the output, the style.css file and its formatting. Uh, this is pretty standard formatting and it's pretty ugly, but if we want to really take advantage of the functionality of SAS, we have the ability to style properly the output of this generated file. So let's take a look. Let's open our terminal and as usual, let's write in the folder of our SAS project, SAS dash dash watch, name of the folder to watch and name of the folder to print our output. And now we are ready. So if you notice here, every time I save my file, I do an editing automatically, the CSS is generated, but the style of the generated CSS is pretty much horrible, it's pretty horrible, it's not really readable and we shouldn't actually care about reading the output.css, it's something that the browser takes care of. But if we are in debugging mode or we want to actually read properly the CSS, like if it was actually written by a human being, we have to change the style, especially here, if you notice here, we have this nesting part in SAS and here in the CSS, this nesting is pretty messy, pretty hard to read. So we can change the style of the output of the CSS file. Let's reopen our terminal. With Ctrl C, we can shut down the watching uh, operation of SAS. Let's reactivate the operation, but before entering, before activating the watching operation, we can put a space, a double dash again, and the keyword style followed by a space and the actual style that we want to use. So SAS gives us the ability to use four different styles for our output. The default one, that the one that we are seeing, is called nested. And every time you create a new SAS file is the default one. The next style that I want to use and want to see is the compact style. So let's write style space compact. Enter. And now if we do whatever editing we want and we save, automatically the CSS file is going to be recompiled with a more compact style. So if you notice here, we don't have the nested indentation anymore. All the classes are starting from the first column attached to the beginning of the file. And it's kind of way more organized, especially when we have a lot of nested element. But let's keep going and let's try another style. Let's close the operation. Let's rewrite SAS watch. And instead of compact style, let me extend so you can see better. I want to use the compressed style. Enter. Let's do another simple editing. Let's save. And now we can see the compressed version of the file or usually called the minified version of the file. So we could save this file as style.min.css. This is really useful for a production ready file because it's compressed, saves a lot of space and reduce the loading time of our website. The last parameter that I wanna see is the expanded parameter. So let's interrupt the operation. Let's roll back and instead of compressed, I want to write expanded and as usual again let's do a little editing save it again and here we have the expanded version this is pretty much the actual version that we can find if we actually write a normal css file so we have everything expanded nothing nothing is nested and also the syntax of the brackets is a proper syntax readable by a human being. And this is really useful while we are developing our project because we can check if the actual generation of the CSS file is good, is readable, and everything's working properly like we want. But of course, the best output style, in my opinion, for a production-ready website is the compressed style because, as I say, it removes all the spaces that we don't need, all the gibberish, and it creates just one single minified file ready to be used in our wonderful website. Thank you for checking this video and see you next lesson.